Welcome back to Real Estate Talk. Our friend Heather Anderson is live in the studio. And I'll tell you, friend, Real Estate Concierge is a company that you should get to know. Check them out at OwnTX.us. Again, OwnTX.us. Heather, we we're talking about the three steps to financial freedom. Okay. Yep, and I want absolutely. you to I want you to continue about you know paying yourself. Okay, okay, let's let's go with yes. So let's continue. Wait a minute. With this. All right. Number one is what? Number one is understanding the thirty. Excuse me, the twenty, thirty, fifty budget plan. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So we're talking about paying yourself first, right? And budget again. Budget. I can't stress the importance of this. Like I even tried to came up, come up with a new word for it, like a few years ago, because I felt like budget was just one of those words where people are like, "Oh yeah." Sounds very corporate. Blah blah blah. Right, and it's just such a. It's so we're numb to it, right? But so I called it um, a spending and savings plan, and that was kind of what I said to myself was like, "This is what it <coughs> is. You know, this mm -hmm. is what I make. This mm -hmm. is what I'm going to save, and this is what I'm going to spend." So. The, the um, 20, 30, 50 plan, that's another way to do it where it doesn't sound so boring. <laughs> but um, anyway, so like paying yourself first, psychologically prepare, pay yourself first to 20%. So what happens is because you make that your number one goal, your number one priority, everything else shifts, okay? So that's when you realize, well, if I pay myself 20%, okay, maybe my... 30% bucket, which is like my variable expenses, my flex money. That's the stuff I get to go buy the Starbucks with or go to dinner or do those things that might adjust every month. Even groceries would fall in that category. Um, those probably shrink a little bit, to be honest with you, because the money has to come from somewhere mm. unless you're making more, right? Mm. So um, anyway, so you realize, well, I have to make a decision on this. So another example would be like when you're thinking about buying a new car, is that really something you want to take away from your 20% from yourself? And, or is that another place you can adjust in your variable category, your 30% bucket? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not. But that's a discussion you have to have with yourself or your spouse and yourself and make the call, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I've been driving like a 2006 Chevrolet Equinox. Um, let's see, the f car before that I had was a BMW, okay? It was BMW X3 and it was my... You know, that was the time in my life, that was in my late 20s, when I was like, okay, I've made it, you know? And again, small town girl, didn't have any money, made money, so spent the money, right? And I bought a lot of stupid things, and I had a lot of stupid fun, but it was good. It was a phase in my life. I'm glad I broke it. You know, I'm glad it's over. And after I got done with that BMW, I leased it. I won't lease a car again. That was the last time, but um, that's a whole other show. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I leased that car at like $580 a month, okay? And after that, I realized, like, you need to get humble. You need to take a piece of humble pie, and you need to remember why you're doing all this. Because you don't work 80 hours a week to be broke when you're 80. You know? I didn't do that for this reason. I, I decided I'm going to work really hard when I'm young and while I can. I'm going to make my money. I'm going to save my money. I'm going to be smart with it. Mm -hmm. And that's when I started to wake up. Okay? Mm -hmm. So sometimes we have to go a little out. Sometimes we have to make some of those decisions. But we have to be brought back into reality. You know, I got to tell you, Heather, um, I, I am a firm believer that, you know, I tell you all the time that my favorite song is A Fool Will Lose Tomorrow Looking Back at Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, I take that even further than this. Uh, your past is a gift in order to define your future. No doubt. Yeah. And that's the way you got to look at it. And I think you've done a really good job of doing that. So tell me about you went from a BMW to a Chevy what? I pay. It was a Chevrolet Equinox. So what is that? It's a. It's like an SUV. I need an SUV. I'm in real estate, so yeah. I had to have that. The X3 was an um, also a uh, SUV, but I think I got it. So I got it in 2010, and it's 2016. So I had it for six years, <laughs> and it's a 2009, and it has almost 200,000 miles on it, and I paid eight thousand dollars for it in cash and. You know, versus my $55,000 BMW that I had leased. So I barely made a dent in the thing in three years when I leased it. So, but that was kind of my humble pie. And so like, even now, I mean, people at my status, they, you know, owning a company broker, they always want to see me in a better car. <laughs> yeah, everybody uh, thinks it's so weird. And they're like, I love it. Wait a minute. What? A, wait, why are you getting out of that thing? But that's what keeps me grounded. It's what keeps me humble. And so when I do my 20, 30, 50 plan, yeah. I think about the Lexus. I think about those things. 
I could afford it, but it's a choice because now my 20% that I pay myself is going to be dwindled. So you have to have those deep conversations with yourself and decide what's important. Remember this. If you're thinking about buying, if you're thinking about selling, yeah, 1% of the real estate agents do 99% of the business. And Heather Anderson, as you can just tell in her testimony of where she's come from, where she's going, how she stays granite, grounded, um, you can tell that she is an agent that understands how to help you, the listener, use real estate to better your life. Uh, this is not some lady who just was handed a silver spoon. Uh, she understands the concept that real estate is three yards in a cloud of dust. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, Heather Anderson, Real Estate Concierge, 855-732-6700. If you're thinking about buying or selling, or you can go to owntx.us. We're talking about the three steps to financial freedom, and that's buying a Chevy Equinox. <laughs> is that what it is? That's exactly right. You know, and I'm a Ford man. I just, I, I just, I, I'm going to have to chop off my arm if I buy uh, a Chevy. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, I, like I said, I'm coming on 200,000 miles, so I'm sure I'm going to have, when uh, it when it just kills mm. on the side of the road, that's my goal. Mm. So I'll have to probably do something at that point. But, but yeah, I mean, well, you know, like, okay, I, I also saw this other stat the other day um, on one of our realtor websites, and it said only 39% of Americans have a rainy day fund. To support yeah. an unexpected bill, a job loss. There's a whole show dedicated to this um, on KERA. It's called um, like one one tragedy away or one one mistake away or something like that, where it basically tells the stories of just normal people like you and me that have no money in the bank mm -hmm. and it's just a struggle and it's sad, you know. But it doesn't. We can fix this, guys. We can totally fix it. It's not as hard as you think. It's just. It is a little bit of change, and change is what is hard. But change is what makes us human, right? We, without that, like, what's the point of living? Mm -hmm. Just go mm -hmm. ahead and let's die, right? You have mm -hmm. to just continue to evolve and continue to move and continue to adjust if you're not satisfied with your current situation. Well, I'll tell you, the only thing that's certain in life is change. That's right. And you, the listener, I promise you, if you are the CEO of your life, you control what you're going to do with it. Now, I'll tell you, Heather, you get some good, <laughs> I love the example, going from BMW to a Chevy mm -hmm. in order just to keep you grounded. And today, you probably can, you know, afford 10 BMWs, but you stay grounded in that Chevy. It's just things are more important, you know. For me, that's my personal decision, right? One day, maybe that will change, but for now, I'm still in growth phase. And um, also, I like to practice what I preach. I'm a big proponent of that. So if I ask my clients to cut back, I can't go out and gallivant in a and, yacht. <laughs> and you're a single woman, and there's lots of rich guys listening right now. Hey. And, and so <laughs> there is the rock of Gibraltar right there, 855-732-6700. Carry on, dear. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, that's, that's like the car story, I guess. But, um, you know, when... When I started my first company, in, uh, or actually took over my first company in 2009, talk about a wake-up call, Willie, right? I mean, I had to learn what a budget was, like, real, real, real quick. Um, I mean, hey, you, you know, you're, you're, you're doing some stuff on the side um, in real estate now, and you're learning what a budget is, and how does that feel for you? Yeah, you don't bust the budget. <laughs> You know, no, it is. Uh, you know, all my career, no means yes, but in the budget, no means no. That's right. No means like no. Yeah, it's yeah. a hard no. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. I Take mean, a long walk off a short pier. That's right. I'm good at telling people to do that. Absolutely. And budgets help you like gauge where you're going to go in the future as far as like, like you said, what's indicative of the future is probably what we've seen in the past. Yeah. You, you say that, but the real point is. You, the listener of this Saturday night, your bank account, you deserve to have a budget on that bank account. Yes. And remember this, that bank account and that check would not be there if it weren't for you. That's right. That's yeah. exactly right. So again, you got to protect that asset. And so I guess let me just finish with the other two parts of the 20, 30, 50 plan. So we talked about 20%. Pay yourself first. Number two, the 30% is that fixed 
bucket, that variable expense, the stuff that changes every month, okay? And Light bill. Light bill, groceries, um, going out fund, dinner. That stuff is variable. Some people are confused by why groceries would go in the variable expense, but it does. It does. It does. You dinner. Know? Dinner. Here's a, here's a Here's a hint. Movies. <laughs> dinner. Riding horses. Just stay at Just, home. Yeah, hey, you could do that. Find things like that, right? Get Netflix. That's right. Eight, you, eight bucks a month. Boom. You can get, you know, lovers. Uh, you can get, get a, a 20, 18 inch pizza for 20 bucks at uh, the pizza joint. That's right. Eat Absolutely. On that. I get it. I get it. I got to go to break. Live in the studio, real estate concierge, our friend. If you're thinking about buying or selling, I want you to go to 855 732 6700. This is one of the good ones out there. Uh, I'll be back in a Willa Skosh.